Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Stable video. In today's video, we are gonna check the Morgan horses. Hello doggo, where are you going? Doggo wanna go. Hold on. Alright. <laughs> I was holding a dog in my lap. <laughs> um anyways. Few moments later. Okay. Okay, let's let's do it again. Hi everyone and welcome to another Star Stable video. In today's video we're gonna check the new Morgan horses that came out. Quick disclaimer, I will most likely not be buying them, not because I don't like them, but just because I have plenty of horses to train. I have plenty of horses that I didn't record with, I didn't ride them enough, I wanna ride them. So I just want to hang out with the horses I already have, rather than just getting a bunch of them and not riding them at all. So at some point I will be buying more of the horses, but not today. Another reason is I want to get the dressage set for the Morgan horse, but I only have a saddle pad, so it will take me ages to collect that much of her shillings. And you all guys know I do not spend star points on any equipment, since I don't really buy star coins, I actually never bought star points. I only saved them from my lifetime star rush. Anyways, um, that being said, I will sometime in the future, hopefully very very soon, be buying star coins and then I might decide to spend them on star equipment. But until then I'll just be saving up and I want to play this game much more and I know I can save enough if I do play it every day and whatever. Anyways, um, let me just like the dog in. <laughs> Again. Alright, so here we are to check them though. Um, there is one in the app that I think I will most likely be getting. But I kind of like its idle animations. Uh, I like the model, it's very, very nice. The head is really pretty. So let me just check the animations real quick. I really like how the Morgan looks like, it's a really pretty horse. Oh. Uh, this is kind of weird, but okay, I suppose. That's it. No special animations. No nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, I like this horse. It's eight hundred and fifty only, though. Um. So we're gonna go and check out the other horses. They actually are... Wait, what is this horse? Is this American Paint? Because it looks dope. Hi Jamie. Shout out to Jamie. Um, oh my god. What is this American... Yeah. It looks like Reina from Spirit. I really adore it. I forgot to turn off my sound. Oh my god, what am I doing? Alright, so other Morgan horses should be located right here in Firegrove Village. I used to say Firegrove, don't even ask me why. But yeah. Wait, you wanna tell me that this same model is at the same time in Fort Pinta and here? Oh my god. So I wasted my impressions here are shillings at the this moment. Um, this color is really pretty as well, um, I love this one, but it looks like uh, the Rocky Mountain horse, so this one looks a lot like um, the horse I already own, the agent I'm all in, so oh. Maybe I should ride Investor and this horse looks really cool, not gonna lie. But it's it looks like a Western style horse, I mean. And I've been thinking about this one because I really don't have horses like this. They're like special colored like this. I just have the standard colors, a lot of brown horses and whatnot. So I'm I'm thinking about these. Maybe like Maybe I get some, I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna get any right now because um, it's a very small horse though. 
But yeah, I just want to spend a lot of time with the horses I have, and once I train them, I will be getting the new horses, so yeah. Without further ado, we are gonna go and do the Horses of Fjordwick race first, and then we are gonna go and do some Yorick Gazette. Alright, here we are. As I was saying, I'm gonna use this time, um, since I'm not gonna buy the horses, to actually just look at them in the game and decide which one I really like in the end. But alright, let's check it out. Um, Okay, I think this is all the same. It is worth an equitation and it is for Andalusian, Ostana, or Pasofino. So, it will stay here for four weeks. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, that was bloody awful, so <laughs> let's do it again. Oh, my horse level up. That's cool. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> That was slightly better, but eh. Also, I'm falling in love with the dapple grey. Um, Pasofino. <laughs> but okay. Okay, that was it about this race. It's cool, actually. I kind of like it. Anyways, we are gonna go and do the Yori Gazette quest at Yori. Stables, no. Um, Jarlheim. Jarlheim, yes, that, that one. I haven't been here in freaking ages. That's oh my god. I love how she literally keeps her horse in the house. That's probably something I'd do. Okay, Iman. Hi, Kanto, I suppose. Another rider, I'm telling you, I don't do haircuts. I won't change your horse's name and I don't sell sausages or hay. Oh my god. <laughs> and the press, you know, a journalist. Tell that to all your friends and better yet, remind the guy with the glasses over there. He already asked me what I'm doing oh, about a hundred times today. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you so riled up? Wait, you're not here to buy something from me? We just stopped by to say hi. Oh, well, my ID, a normal person, seems to be rare on this side of the island. I'm Iman, and this is my trusty steed, Sahara. That's a really cute name. We came over from our east to make a newspaper about the daily life and happenings in Yorick. Behold, the future offices of the Yorick Gazette. I'm excited for this one. Okay, it's not much yet, but with your help, it could be. What do you say? Help a gal and her old mare out? Sweet. I'm almost ready to open office. All that's left to do is put up this sign. I wouldn't... I would have put it up myself already, but a darn thing's heavier than a soaking wet shire horse. Interesting. Well, it's huge, though. It's a very, very cute office. Would you look at that? And it's not even crook. I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate the help, Linda. Yeah, I know who you are. There's talk of you all across the island, even the tiny little town where I come from. Who've you been talking to? I hope you've heard good things. Like what? Nothing too bad, right? Mm, yeah. You know what they say, a good journalist never reveals her sources. Let's just say I trust you enough to make you an offer. The Yorick Gazette is free from outside influence, but working alone is no fun. 
If you want to join me in distributing this paper across Jarvik and keeping people informed, I'd love to have you on board. You'll be paid, of course. Think of it as a part-time job. Much needed right now, to be honest. <laughs> You'll have the Yorick Gazette? Awesome! It will be in all the papers. Linda elevates the voice of your regions with one simple paper delivery. I've got a paper delivery over at Silver Post Office, but given Sahara's load bearing days are over, I can't ride over there and fetch it. Maybe you and Starship could. Aww, she's an old girl. So cute. Okay. Silver Glade Post Office, how may I help? Oh, it's you. <laughs> if you're here to pick up mail, the only package I have is a book paper delivery for Iman High Cantle Hub. That name sounds familiar. I love how I'm so close to level 23, actually. Oh yeah, the High Cantles. Our family go way back. Loads of history as forced back mail delivers. They are accused to have fewer roads and towns were more isolated back then, so people used to rely on folks like us to deliver news and letters, just like in the old west. Funnily enough, today marks a century since York's first horseback mail delivery. My great-great-grand-uncle, Mustang Miles, was the first to set out. He wrote... Is that a plane outside? He rode from South Hoof to Rockville in less than a day and switched horses 15 times. Oh my goodness. Quite a story, right? Maybe Mal can put it in the first edition of Rory Gazette. You're so easy to talk to. Let Iman know I'm here if she wants any photography. Oh no, why can I read today? Wants any photography work for the paper. You should get back to Yarlheim. I'm sure Iman is looking forward to starting up this newspaper once and for all. You're back. Now all I need is some stories to put in the paper. Maybe I should have thought about this before. <laughs> you tell Iman about Derek's story. You got that story out of Derek? Quite. An assuming postman photographer Derek, you you must be a natural. <laughs> um, see, how do you feel about bringing the news to your Vic? I'm excited sharing news and stories is super important. It's a living, I guess. A reading is lame, and this is lame. <laughs> you hear that, Sahara? Linda is a natural. One of us. One of us. You've got some serious journalistic skills. I'm impressed, which gives me an idea. I want to invite you to work at the Yorick Gazette, Linda. Not as a part-time helping hand, though as a real journalist. Oh wow. First things first, we've got to spread news about the news. <laughs> These players should do the trick. Alright. Alright, we are done. Done and dusted. The Yorick Gazette will be the talk of the town in no time. With that out of the way, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on how to find the best stories. You know the best way to get a story out of someone? I know him. I jest. Please don't pester someone if they don't want to tell you something. Journalistic integrity is important and we want the Gazette to be trustful and Present, or represented Yorick as best as possible. What's important is asking the right questions. The better the question, the better the answer, kind of thing. Make people think, turn expectations on their head. Now get out there and find some awesome stories. I have a promising lead to get you started. First up, we want an equestrian fo focused story. Horses are a huge part of the island's identity, after all. Sources say Jacob Goldspur has bred Arabian horses on the island since forever. My grandmother even bought Sahara from him years ago. 
You're gonna ride over to Goldspur's mill and get the screw. In the meantime, I'll be chasing a lead on Horse Island. Some call it the Lost Atlant Atlantis of Yorick. Oh my. Let's go find our first story. I haven't been here in ages as well. <laughs> my lord. Did Jack send year to force me to be mayor again? Tell him I won't do it. Not until the sky turns pink and manta rays fly. Oh, well, that already happened, right? <laughs> oh, you're here with the Yorick Gazette. Everybody knows the pretty best Arabian horses on the island, but how did that come to be, you may wonder. It's a long story, but seeing as you're here... When I was a wee lad, my dad gifted me an Arabian filly I named Nina. I grew up with her and all was well until the day she fell pregnant with twins. Aww. For humans, this would be a joy, but for horses, giving birth to twins is very dangerous. I was distraught. This could mean the end for my poor Nina. When Nina went into labor, I was on the farm alone. I ran around calling for help and a young lady answered, helping me deliver the foals. As if by miracle, the twins were delivered safely. That night, I realized I'd met my future wife, Evelyn. Ever since then, we've been breeding Arabians on Goldspur Farm, and it means even more to me since Evelyn. Do any of Nina's relatives run your field today? Tell me more about your wife. Mm -hmm. Why, well, yes, they do. Uh, just over there is Dune, a descendant of Nina. He's got the same gentle temperament she had, though he's a goofy fella. It's time to return to Iman with the story. I would have asked about his wife, but I know she wanted some horsey stories, so. I wonder if this is gonna be like a daily thing, or is it just a one time quest? Welcome back to Yarlheim. I hope you had a successful interview. Remember, it's all about asking the right questions. My horse island story didn't go anywhere. It seems that Yori has collectively forgotten about the mysterious place. It's high time we took a break. I just placed an order for a stable bars. <laughs> Can you pick it up? Oh. Oh. Wait. I'll get some treats for... Starship and Sara, while you're gone, they deserve a break as much as we do. Oh, it's okay. I didn't have this much fun in Star Sable in quite some time. I'm actually by like playing the game. I mean, I skipped a few days, but my horse, so my horse, I'm super happy. But I actually trained. I maxed out one horse, so that's good. I'm actually playing something and I can't believe it, honestly. Um, that hits the spot. Thanks. Here's that snack for Starship. Oh, and your drink too. Oh, very, very cute. Mm. I actually didn't spend much time in the game actually like using these. I would like to do it again. Okay, we've got our serious story. Now for some letter reading, the gossip section. Yorick's a scandalous place. Uh, scandalous? Sc scandalous, I suppose. So let's get out there and find the hottest goss this island has to offer. I've already invited some people to your hand to be interviewed, so you won't have to write far right back to me when you're done. Ooh. This is interesting. Oh, oh! I'm not here to gossip. I'm here to get people talking about dark goings on across Yorick. I mean, the stuff GD is shaming about. Old Hillcrest, Bear Point, North Link. What do these places have in common? They're perpetual building sites, swarming with GD workers, seemingly doing nothing. I'm here to tell the people it's all a ruse, I suppose. 
and that together we can uncover what they are really up to. I have the proof too, I managed to plant a rootkit into GD's comms network and uncover, uncovered some suspiciously tilted documents. Operation, business, as usual. See what I mean? My ride is here, I have to head back to Epona. I hope my tidbit was hard-hitting enough for the Gazette, Linda, stay sharp. Well, that was... something. Let me tell you, the druids are a gossipy bunch. <laughs> Always at each other's throats. I stay out of it, but the things I overhear are wild. <laughs> Have you seen the rose bushes that line the silver stone around Raelil? Avalon claims he manicures them met meticulously? meticulously? But I overheard another druid saying they were fake. No wonder they bloom all year long. <laughs> Speaking of Avalon, there's also this crazy rumor he's the only cloaked druid in real life. Whenever he does something embarrassing, he just blames the other cloaked druids and goes on a rant about uniqueness. But if he's the only cloaked druid, who's the one spreading rumors about him? Hmm. Maybe he spreads rumors about himself. Well, he does like D. <laughs> oh my god. It is wild, she's right. Oh, cards here. When I'm by my ford, striking my hammer on the anvil, it's as if the world melts away. People treat me like I'm invisible, but I hear it all. <laughs> For instance, did you know that Beatrice and Josh dated? They parted amicably. What are these words? And remain friends to this day. And you know what Loretta does when she needs to let off some steam? <laughs> She takes a swim in the south silver waters in her clothes, right down to the riding boots and helmet. Oh my god. There's also... Oh, there we go, letting things slip again. I've said too much, leave me be. <laughs> I didn't know this side of him, though. <laughs> I love this guy. He is still my favorite character in the game. No way, you got free stories already. I tried asking... Cornelia about old Yellowhand gossip, but she wouldn't budge. That lady is tight-lipped, I tell ya. Okay, we have to make a choice here. Which story do you think should make the gossip section of the Origazette? Syntax gossip about GD, Forest gossip about the Druids, Connors gossip about Moreland. Mm, I mean... I'd say the Druids, because it's... Wild, literally wild. Um, but I, I think people would like the Corners gossip more, maybe. But you know what? I don't care what people like. <laughs> An interesting choice. I can't wait to see how it lands with our readers. <laughs> An interesting choice. I can't wait to see how it lands with our readers. No. This paper is gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah, I agree. I'm entrusting you now with the most important task, interviewing for our headline story. I've invited three people to your home to tell us their stories, speak with them and come back so we can decide which one will make the front page. Oh, that's a cute horse. Hello. The Gravic Rangers have made a fascinating discovery. We found an abundance of new plant life on Yorick. The flora was found in the mountain range above the Baroness racetrack, growing around a mysterious saucer-shaped object. Could they be plants from a prehistoric period, or maybe they're mu mutated? Whatever the case, this is breaking news for botanists everywhere. I think that's a cool story. There was a huge fire roaring over New Hillcrest today. The skies were black with smoke. And <laughs> the townsfolk were running around like headless chickens. They say it started in a bakery kitchen. Not that I'd know anything about that. <laughs> Thankfully, a group of writers came by and helped me. 
I mean, uh, whoever started the fire, it would have consumed the entire town otherwise. Very, very cute. <laughs> I've been studying the castle up by Golden Hills. It's called Martian Gast Castle? And I want everyone to know about it. I've discovered a lot about when the castle was built, the little known royal family of Yorick, and even more even some rumors about who might be living there now. Wouldn't that make a good front page story? I suppose, yeah. Okay, we have three headlines at hand. Now for the all important question. Which story do you think should make the front page of the Euro Gazette? Strange plant life springs from saucer shaped object? Buns burn as fire blazes from New Hillcrest Bakery. Marvelous Martian gas mysteries uncover a new historical find. They all sound good though. I mean, hmm. I suppose uh, this sounds kind of catchy. It's quaint yet captivating, just like Yorick. Next time we'll we'll, we'll play <laughs> to the other stories, I suppose. Now we have a headline for tomorrow's edition. One last thing for today, we need some pictures of your stables. If you fancy yourself a photographer, take this camera and snap a few shots of it for me. Okay. Wow, look at these. Way to go, Shutterbug. I'll be printing our first edition now. Come back tomorrow so you don't miss the launch. Oh. Are you excited about the grand launch of the Euro Gazette tomorrow? Be here bright and early, you won't want to miss it. Alright, so I suppose we're done for today. Um, I'm actually enjoying this quest. I'm really having fun, no idea why. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another video. With continue the story. Um, I'll try to record every single day so I catch up with the questies. Some announcements. First off, I'm thinking about actually making my own club. I am in club with Yuli, but I think the we should change the name so it is more representative of what we want. Um, cause right now it's Shadow Whispers and it's a cool name, but it doesn't represent what I want to make for my community. So I'm gonna try and make a club with a name, with the exact name I want. Hopefully it's, it's, um, available. Um, also <clears throat> join the Discord server we have. Uh, all the links of my social media that I actually use will be down in the description. I made a subreddit so you can post memes. Um, clips from streams and uh, whatnot um, on the subreddit. Um, and let's try my community there as well. Um, follow me on my Instagram. I do use it frequently. Um, I really use Twitter, so didn't put a link on that, but you can also find me there. Anyways, yeah, join the Discord server. <clears throat> we have plenty of channels for other games as well. Um, so you can find someone to play with, and you can message me there, um, so I can meet you in Star Stable and add you to our club. <clears throat> First 50, I believe, is the cap. I think 50 is the capacity of um, <clears throat> the club members. Anyways, first 50 will be lucky enough to be in a club. Um, I wish I can add more. 
but yeah, I think Star Stable doesn't allow more yet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and following and whatnot. <laughs> um, probably wouldn't be doing this still if it wasn't for you guys. Um, so thank you so much and see you tomorrow, I suppose. Bye bye.